Hi, this is Zach May with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 13th of October. Starting off with the S&P, which is back to the old neckline resistance and support area. In fact, neckline support was the initial thing that it was around 43.30. Uh, we closed just above that yesterday. We're in a range really between that neckline and also the top of that gap down at 44.01 from last month. 50-day line at 44.07, so basically a clearance of that 4400 to 4410 area needed here. Otherwise, this is not looking great in the sense it's a failed gap fill below 43.30. We've got to retrace part of the recovery that we've seen since the beginning of the month from around the 42.10 area. RSI pushed back below neutral 50, so that's also not a good look, especially when combined with that falling 50-day line and the gap fill failure. Moving on to the stocks, and uh, here you can see that uh, we are starting off with uh, CSP. And uh, here the picture is of uh, a decent turnaround uh, through the uh, neckline resistance there around uh, $18.60. Above that, we're looking for a full or even partial, uh, or at least a partial retest of that uh, spike last month up towards the $26 area. Eventual target here as high as $30 at the top of that rising trend channel from back in March, but uh, a bit early to be looking for that at this stage. The key here is staying above that 1860 area. Next up is um, Edessa, and here we've already had the big move uh, within that rising rather broadening uh, triangle there from back in May. Uh, the uh, top there around $8.50. And uh, current situation is that we're wanting to see the shares remain above $4.60 and uh, the a break of, a fresh break of the 50-day line at $5.70 could then give us a retest of the uh, $8.50 area. On to one of the more followed stocks at the moment, which is uh, Finger Motion. And uh, here we've got this rising trend channel in place since the end of June. Uh, shares nicely finding support here around the $5.50 area and above that we're looking for $8.50 as soon as the end of next month at the top of that rising trend channel. RSI at 57, which is right in the box seat, as far as a fresh leg to the upside, especially after the bounce off RSI 50 as well that we've just had. GDEV is next, and um, that is also known as Nexters. Here you can see that uh, we've got this consolidation here, which could be a bear or a bull flag, but at the moment we're looking for uh, the uh, shares to hold uh, the area around uh, the recent support and uh, head up towards the top of the range, uh, ideally in the uh, $3.30 area, hopefully by the end of this month. Obviously some resistance coming there from old support there back in March at the 3.30 zone. Microalgo is next. We covered this uh, quite recently. And uh, here, a uh, rather interesting chart, a broadening triangle base. Uh, we managed to break above the 50-day line on an end-of-day close basis with support above the 200-day moving average around $2.20. Uh, the overall view here is above $2.20. We're looking for up to uh, the $4.75 area by the end of next month. A uh, stock which is new to uh, the chart breakers is coming up next. And uh, here you can see that it's uh, momentous and uh, rising trend channel base potentially. We've broken above uh, the recent resistance uh, earlier in the week around the uh, $2.15 level and above that looking for the top of that rising trend channel as high as $7 by the end of next month. Another new name coming up, uh, Optimize RX. And uh, here, after the big gap down that we had in August, we've got a gap higher. So that's a bear trap island reversal, which can be a very strong signal. Old resistance around the $7.80 area. We'd like to see the shares remain above that on an end of day close basis and head up to the top of the broadening triangle around $9.70 by the end of this month. A stock which uh, looks like it's quite a fiery situation is coming up next, Para Zero. Here uh, we had the gap higher, but two gaps higher to start the month and uh, shares partially filling the second gap, which is good news given that we've now uh, gone above the 200 day moving average around the 202 cents level, above that 200 day line looking for up to $3.20 by the end of this month. And uh, hopefully that uh, 50 day line will start rising and push the shares up with its momentum. Scholar Rock is next. Uh, gap higher here. Uh, we need to get through the 200-day uh, uh, moving average there at uh, around the $8.10 level. Above that, on an end-of-day close basis, would be up to $10.75 by the end of this month, given the way that the 
50 day line is now rising and we've had two bounces three bounces off neutral 50 on the rsi window as well so that is quite impressive and it could be a decent uh, forward signal moving on to a stock which uh, i've covered probably this is about the most covered stock of the ones uh, today uh, sheng feng and uh, here bounced off that old resistance line which now has become new support around the uh, ten dollars sixty level above ten sixty looking for the shares to hit the uh, resistance line projection from back in may as high as twenty dollars by the end of next month and perhaps even sooner than that tops is next top ships in, in fact and here we've got a broadening triangle base looks like a bit of a bear trap from below the old support there last month around six dollars fifty above six fifty initially looking for the 50-day line at $8.10 and then up to as high as uh, $10.20 by the end of next month if everything goes well, which looks as though it will. Uh, last two now, Venus Concepts and uh, here rising trend channel base. Uh, good support, generally good support at and above the 50-day uh, line around the uh, $1.90 level, above $1.19 looking for $2.60 by the end of this month or even sooner. Finishing off uh, with Wafu Education Group, and here we've got an extended rising trend channel base. Top of the channel there around $2.90, so we're looking for that by the end of this month while we remain above the broken August resistance line at $2.20, so that, that might be a reasonable setup for some. That's it for me today. More updates.